Okay, we have basically turned up in solitude. Here's Vilja, here's Lydia. We are gonna go and sort out... We're gonna go and sort out the Bard's College mission. Then we're gonna go to Istengrav. And uh, finish at least one of the main quests. It's been quite a while since we've actually done anything I like the main quest. I had expected more stores and such. But uh, I guess it's quite nice here anyway. This is the Bard's College along this way. And we just need to speak to someone here. Now, I've never been in the Bard's College. Let's go in. So yeah, the Bard's College is where we need to go because we need to swap a letter that we received from Wilbert, the Red Guard up in Dawnstar, and hopefully they'll give Vilja a loot. I'm the headmaster here. How may I help you? I'm looking to apply to the college. Always a pleasure to meet a prospective Bard. You should be aware that many apply, but we accept very few people. When possible, we ask applicants Pardon to perform me, tasks the college needs completed. In this case, I do have a task Patience befitting an aspiring bard. We study the heroes of the past. What do you need me to do? Alicet has forbidden the burning of King Ola, a festival put on by the Bard's College. We need to change her mind. To convince her, I want to read King Olaf's verse, a part of the poetic Edda, the living history of Skyrim. Unfortunately, the verse was lost long ago. And that's where I come in. Yes. According to Giraud, our history's keeper, the portion of the Edda dealing with King Olaf might still exist in Dead Man's Rest. I need you to retrieve the poem. Dead Man's Rest. Why did she forbid the festival? As you may be aware, Elisif's husband, High King Torig, was recently killed. Elisif mourns her husband deeply, and she feels that a festival that burns a king in effigy is distasteful. I tried to convince her the festival is many centuries old and celebrates solitude, but I need proof. I believe King Olaf's verse will provide that proof. So what is the Poetic Edda? I think Giraud here would give you the best explanation of both it and the history of King Olaf's verse. You should speak to him about it. Okay. So let's ignore I everything else. The verse. We could speak to Gerard. Yes, I'm the Dean of History and scribe work when I can find some quiet time. Well, we need to... This is not what we're going to do. We need to go and find a suitable loot. this way or is she upstairs? She's upstairs isn't she? Solitude is a really nice city I've got to say. Look at this. Sindra, that's who we need to speak to. She looks like a new character. She sings. Hi! Hi. Will, but Will you play the flute for me? Alright. Hello. <laughs> okay, will you play the drum for sure. me? That's a scripting causing that delay, I'm sure. Will you play the loop for me? All right. She can play everything. Apart from the loot. Because you're just working on that drum, aren't you? Hi. Play the loot. Sure. Cool, she can do everything. Could you do that? I like this music, it's from Daggerfall. Hello. Let's get Wilbert's loot. Oh, you know Wilbert? He's great. And I do have a loot that, that belongs to you. But I don't use it anymore. I have bought myself a new one. Wilbert says we can have the loot. No problem. As I said, I have a loot already. You have a letter for me to prove that it's alright? Fine. Then, here 
supposed to load. Oh, Happy that's nice. Have much fun playing it. Cool. So she's obviously like, look, she's a, she's tiny. She's a tiny little person. You know, I don't get the impression that I'm very well liked at the college. Why? Cause you just go and sit down in the middle of people's conversation. Let's talk to Vilia and give her the loot. You have the loot. You have the Wonderful. loot. Wonderful. Give it to me, please. Okay, here it is. It. Okay, what is it? As I now have my flute back, I would really enjoy to see Wilbert and learn a bit more about how to play my new loot. That sounds far better than going and killing dragons or going to Istengrav. You're new here, right? Welcome to the Bard's College. It's more like a musical museum. Let's have a little look around there. There's not too much to explore, I think. Some potions. Ink, six fingers. One, two, three, four, five. S five. Just got normal amount of fingers. Disappointing. Potions of resist fire. We've got plenty of this stuff anyway. Ouch! I have faith that you'll remember with the English Bard first. It's great that the Bard's College actually gives me that great responsibility. There's no easy missions in this place. I suppose the Thieves Guild missions are the easiest ones. Keep on talking about Morrowind, but in Morrowind, with the Imperial mission, you got really easy missions. You got collect five pieces of wheat or five salt rice, and bring them back, and they were really easy because you got little rewards like little alchemy kits, and that was nice. I think I thought that was a nice way of doing it. Whoa, what was that? Okay, so let's go to Istengrav. We're not too far away. While we were waiting, what I did was I enchanted... Oh, it's starting to rain. I thought it never rained. Yeah, we enchanted the Dwarven Two-Handed Sword. That's something I'd like to talk to you about. Have you got a minute? I need to eat some food. Let's eat some bread. Let's get out, make our ways to Eastern Graf. Should be a nice little quest Hello. for us. We're level 10 now, so I don't know what's going to be there. I think the enemies are going to be reasonably tough. They're certainly not going to be a pushover. The Emperor's cousin, Vittoria Vici, is getting married soon. The reception will be popular. Anyone in college? We picked up uh, a few healing potions. We stole them, rather. We stole a few potions by going into the Winking Skeeva. For some reason, in my room, they had about three different regeneration potions and healing potions, so I thought I'd nab a few. Of course, regeneration potions aren't as useful as healing potions. Healing potions heal you up in one go. All regeneration potions do is a very slow regeneration over time, over not too much time. So you might, you're pretty much out of combat at that point, so I don't really know the point of it. It's late to be wandering around, isn't it? It is. Two more hours and I can crawl under some furs. It's a good job the dragons are so easy to beat. So, where is Ustengrav? Ustengrav is dead, that's Dead Man's Respite. Ustengrav is here. Not too far away from Morthal. We could actually get a... What is it? What is it? There's some sort of battle going on. Strange. Spider? What is it? It looks like vampires. Another 
death hound. They are not looking good. Look at that dog meat. And those death hound collars, they are well worth it, obviously. Well, the attacks are getting harder and harder. We need to go to Istengrav. Let's take a little carriage over to Morthal. Need a ride? Where do you want to go? Climb and back and we'll be off. Shouldn't cost me too much. If it costs me 250, then I'll be upset. It cost me 250 gold to Morthal. Have you Whew, I suppose it's night, night rates. But Istengrav shouldn't be too far away then. We, we can skip a bit of time. We should also make a mod which makes houses a bit more pricey. 10,000 should be breeze home. Maybe, maybe five times the amount, so 25,000. I know the mansion in solitudes about 45,000 in vanilla so maybe that should be around about 200 300,000 gold cuz late on late game it's very easy to get gold i don't really know why people actually bother if you watch all these let's play people bother to pick up the gold even though they're level 81 you don't need Let it me think. Falkfire beard seems to be very protective towards Jarl Elsie doesn't he what's the Jarl going to do about it all right how are Anything we else? To feel safe in our own homes? Wonder why Rolf Stone Please. is so hateful no. towards elves and I'm going I have told Igrid of your know, concern. Maybe he's just a goldie by nature. Please, go about your business. I can hardly we believe no it. Need for wizards in our midst. How about you? Have you heard? Morthal used to be a quiet place. There's a dragon. It used to make sense. And I know. Oh, I'm sure you've got something up your sleeve. Do you like your That's Let's find somewhere to hide. Ah, this is perfect. This kind of thing is perfect for fighting a dragon. Is it good fortune? The blessings of the divines? Who knows? That's interesting. bow somewhere. Let's grab the bow off you. Of course. I think you've got it on you. Yep. We'll take that bow off you. Okay. Later. It's done. You're different, aren't you? Not like anyone else. Not in Morthal or Skyrim. God might get nervous. A man approaches with his weapon drawn. If you notice, some of the children look very odd because, of course, I I got rid of that children mod which shrunk children into basically that. being adults. I wouldn't mind if I and did. now it's mucked up a little bit because now they're half children, half adult hybrids. So they've got child heads plus. Adult bodies. Unless it's about <laughs> the meal. I don't have so they don't exactly look realistic now. I'll have to I'll have to do something about it because they they're looking resoundingly silly. Certainly when I adopt a kid, I'll have to do something about it because <coughs> they look ridiculous. So let's just set our target for Eastern Graph. Good question why I'm not using my horse. You haven't forgotten about the ingredients you promised to have me find, have you? 
Now we're on our way to find the ingredients. We basically need to complete a large section of the main quest to get access to the ingredients. Obviously it's it's quite deliberate by the mod maker. You can't just go and complete all Villiers stuff and then do the main quest. You need to do a bit of your main this quest, a bit of Villiers stuff and then carry on. So I see it up ahead. This is Istengraf. Uh oh. Did not expect that. Some bandits randomly coming out. Or maybe not so random. That was well done, Lydia. You just smashed their heads open. Novice necromancer. Alright, if, if it's just bandits then we're happy. Bandits don't exactly pose much of a threat. As you know, it's a tomb, and tombs look mean drog. And all this stuff definitely means drog. Looks like a fight going on. Why are you looking at me like that? I think it's necromancers. It could be necromancers versus bandits, or is it necromancers versus drog? Finally here. Either way, they all need to die. Still fighting. Or was it fire wizards against ice wizards? That sometimes goes on. I think it's fire wizards versus ice wizards. All scripted, of course, to happen just when you step in. I think my fight is good. Feel free to grab a pick and help them out. I could find out sully myself with manual labor. Uh oh. You guys have been seen. So apprentice necromancers, fair enough. <gasps> a flawless garnet, I almost thought it was a flawless amethyst. Got excited then. 
I say it was bandits against necromancers. At the moment, I'm digging my way through. I know I don't need all this stuff. I certainly don't, shouldn't collect hundreds of these lockpicks. But anyway, we're in the first part of Vistengraf. Now we just need to find a door to get out of here. This is a massive dungeon, by the way. This is one of the big dungeons. Dead conjurers. Yes, I'm just being silly. You are not being silly. Because there's more battling up ahead. And a drog. And I can hear the live drog up ahead. Restless drog. Right, time to. Time to take these guys out. Get out of the way. You are as good as dead. Lydia's just charging in there. Lydia needs to really take a chill pill. <laughs> Restless draw takes around about three or four arrows. Well done, Lydia. So all the enemies are starting to get hard now. There's no Ponzi use. Well, that's a Ponzi useless draw. Plenty of restless, and they all are able to cast frost spells or freeze. Fire mage. around here to see if there's anything nasty. I don't think there's anything going to pop out, but we'll just take out our it's blade out. in case. Let's go to the Forsaken Cave and look for it. Just tons and tons of urns. With minute amounts of treasure. Have you got enough lockpicks? Else maybe I can make a few. I have got the what best lockpick in the world, thank you. And a forge. Gone. What's here? Draw of Glibness? Mystery of Talara? I'll take that. Later time. I think this place opens up later on to give her a shortcut out. Am I talking too much? Just tell me if you want me to keep No, it's quiet. interesting when you talk. This looks like, yeah, this is the secret passage. But of course you can't get there now. <coughs> this looks obviously like a false wall. Of course if you toggled collision then you could complete this mission very quickly. Pardon me for 
ask him, but uh, are you sure that you know where we are going? Into the jaws of depth. Death. That's where we're going. Would like Vilia to take the lead, of course. Are Two you ways sure to go. This is such a good idea? Low road or high road? Let's take the low road. A few pennies. Gold's difficult to take here sure without taking that battle axe. Head, that is one way to head down, of course. We expect this to be very linear, so that's not the only way we can go. Get out of the way, there's someone coming out. We don't want to be there when he comes out. Guess I'm just being silly. There's no way to sneak past them, unless you take that low road, of course. He's dead. And a restless drog just sees what's up. Watch out guys, there's a drog behind you. It's only you a one drog. We're getting weighed down with gold now. Interesting outfit you are wearing today, Lydia. Was it your own idea to put it on? Why did draw growl? They're not dogs. This is an ugly place, don't you think so? What you mean with all the undead around? What was that? That sounded like a trap. No trap. We need all these healing potions though. Potion of true shot. Magicka, Scroll of Mayhem. So this goes to Istengraf Depths. So I wonder what the other place was all about. Let's go and check out that other place. Here 
There we are. Well, this doesn't look suspicious at all, does it? Oh, well, let's take this high shield of dwindling frost. Soul gem. A few things that we need. We'll give Vilia you know, a couple of arrows. Really that you never ask for my opinion. What should we do next? Yeah, okay. Of course. A while ago you were talking about why we should go to Ustengrav. Talk later. Right, that should have shifted off some weight. Yes, that's pretty much told us what we're going to face up against. We're certainly going to face up to more powerful Draug as we go down. I expect that we'll come up against at least the Death Lord. If not something more horrendous than that, if not several. Fascinating. Oh, here we are. Istengraf Depths. I suppose this is going to be another 2-3 level. No, at least a 3 level. Maybe even 4. 3 levels plus a sanctum right at the end where the wor word wall is. That's what I expect. Pretty standard. Oh, let's look out here. It's an enormous chamber full of drog. How on earth do they tunnel out these places in the end? You're making more noise than a go That's not a friendly creature. Keep quiet, will you? Come back so I can shoot you. That place is obviously the way down. Where did that draw go off to? There he is. Are you sure you can find your way? It would be easy to get lost in here. True. Let's make our way slowly down. Sneak around. Guess these draws have been around for so long they haven't seen anyone. Now that's 17 arrows. Of course, now I don't. I won't take those because. They weigh far too much. Be careful. This looks like a trap. If you see these little holes, I'm certainly not going to walk on them. I don't think there's any way to avoid it, though. Maybe jump? Honestly. Some bandits are so silly. Oh, I know, I know, I know. This is what we should do. They always hang around in the same place. <coughs> you might as well have your 
bowl ready when you walk up to them. Of course, that's alerted a few things. Here they come. Nope, obviously that was it. <coughs> In RPGs, normally it's the warrior that goes up front, not the archer or thief. Thief normally brings up maybe the rear. Here's the rest of the straw. Let's move around. Get behind the bard and the warrior. Yeah, that's it. Watch me. You haven't got the range to get me. footsteps. Get down here. Lydia's pretty much gonna sort that out for us. Didn't I tell you I was good? Well, you didn't do anything, you're just hanging hanging around behind us. like the looks of this place. Not at all. At least there's fresh bread. Jasper grapes. Plenty of food for us. This place is scary. Are you sure we will manage? Jesus. So those drug were still making mean a mean feast what's this is this gonna burst open what is it keep quiet Lydia you're making more noise than a flock of mammals right there's plenty of minor healing potions here Okay. We still haven't ended up on that massive main chamber yet. Is that Lydia or is that a drog? It's Lydia. She's just hanging out behind us. Come on, catch up. What are you looking at? You're looking at something out the corner of your eyes. Is it a dead body? Oh, 
Well, this is another blocked passage that we can't get through. So I'd this is the only way to go. At least bandits know when to stay dead. Right, we're in quite a big chamber. Some portcullises. And obviously a drawg's gonna burst out of there. Let's trigger him. Two drawgs are gonna come out. Let's see if we can just use our shout and shout that lid open. That's how we normally do things. You made a big mistake. No, Lydia, come back. It's ridiculous if you go after. Cute. That was tough. Oh, here we are. Here's another one. I wonder if these are level draw, because they're really not that tough. Just standard draw. I'm in for fight with this because I'm a dude. Don't you think so too? Alright, my character's getting start starting to get a bit sleepy, so he's losing a bit of encumbrance. So we can't go collecting treasure much longer. Let's see what this does. Okay, so it's a little place to do a bit of enchanting. And a bit of a minor treasure. Gold, potion of destruction, lesser soul jam, not too much else. Let's get out of here. I wonder what my mother would have said if she had seen me chasing bandits. You're not chasing bandits. Troll scar. Nothing else of interest down here. So, Alright, this takes us into the main chamber. Quite a spectacular view, it's got trees growing indoors. Right, there's Drog over there, so we can start shooting them. We've got, oh, the skeletons actually, they're skeletons. So the weakest of all. They don't even regenerate these skeletons. They're not like the skeletons in Dark Souls. They are just pretty lame skeletons. Two more skeletons on the way. Well, at least we know there's a flame trap up there. I think 
few skeletons just have iron arrows. Ancient Nord arrows. Nothing worth me picking up. Ancient Nord arrows are about as bad as you can get. My well, Falma arrows are slightly worse. But we're, we've cleared most of the skeletons out. Is that a skeleton sitting up there? It is. Don't fool me. that up without even seeing if that was trapped. That was pretty bad of me. So what's up here? that's been slightly tasted. Flawless garnets, soul gems, let's see if you feel... Yeah, they've all got past the trap. <laughs> Even though she did attempt to walk into it, that looks like a false wall. So nothing in particular of interest around this place either. There's someone watching me. I can tell. That was where we'd been before. I suppose that dead drog kind of gives it away. And so we need to head out, head out, make our way down. I think this is the way. myself lost. Is this the way? Or have we been round this way before? Ah, oh, we haven't been this down this way. Well, that is one we do need to go that way. But we also should explore down this way. Something's seen us. <laughs> I've done this quest before, what I recall us doing, what I recall myself doing was rushing the way that we just came, we just looked down and missing what was on the ground and uh, in the end I had to come all the way back to go and complete that quest. Not good. Now there was an enemy down here. I think it was a skeleton. Whether it's died or not, I, I don't know. I wonder how old this place is. Hundreds of years? Thousands? And that's the treasure we're looking for, basically. The word war. Become Ethereal this Shout. This scary. Are you sure we will manage? 
So yeah, the become ethereal shout is pretty useful. It's 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 one of the best skills to have. Let's unlock it. Plenty of fresh water. But yeah, that's that's all we were missing. So once we've got that, we can I make our way back. To accidentally kill another Alan Turing in jail. After all, we all know the risks. Uh oh, how do you get back there? That is the question. The important thing about Alan Turing is that anything you don't do can kill you. On the other hand, right, we can't just be stuck here. That would be nonsense if we were just stuck. Well, there must be a way around. Now this looks likely. Probably the way we should have come. Yep, this is the way we should have come. I'd rather fight bandits than Drogo. At least bandits know when to stay dead. There's something up there. Sounds like a skeleton. It was a skeleton. Head our way, make our way back down, and this is basically a tiny puzzle. I don't know. I stone. Right, so this obviously requires a bit of sprinting. Do try not to set off any traps, will you? Let's get our whirlwind sprint, because that always comes in handy. I'm not quite fast enough. guys tell you what you guys come over this way so <laughs> not good not quick enough
quite quick enough to get there. Perhaps my timing is a little bit off. This place is I'm sure this is how I did it last time. We just sprinted. <laughs> not quite. F I'm not quite fast enough to get through. Hi there. Seems deliberate that I can't actually get through each time. Ouch! I'm so clumsy. Right, we'll just um, figure out this puzzle and I'll get back to you after that.